Hi again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's uh, video post or blog post is entitled, The Surrendered Wife. Well, I'm always amazed at how biblical concepts are mangled when expressed in popular books by well-meaning authors. Such is the case with a recent book entitled, The Surrendered Wife. Now the premise is simple. Modern wives need to acquiesce to their husbands in order to build their self-esteem, create marital harmony, and restore respect to the role of the husband in the family. Laura Doyle, the author of this book, says that this approach has saved her own marriage and can do the same for other women. Now, I certainly can't argue with the idea that submissiveness is a powerful spiritual virtue in a woman's character. However, as is the case with most who simply borrow ideas from the Bible, Ms. Doyle fails to recognize principles that guide the application of its teachings in life. Now, when it comes to the issue of submissive or surrendered wives, the Bible provides the following context. Number one, submissiveness is first and foremost an expression of one's faith in God. To submit to one's husband simply as a tactic to improve a bad relationship is nothing more than subtle, perhaps not so subtle, manipulation. To be submitted to one's husband is to respond to God's call, to go against our human nature and human tendency to ascend and allow another to lead us in order to replicate in our marriages the image and construct of Christ's relationship with His church. And Paul talks about that in Ephesians 5 verse 32. Secondly, submissiveness is a consensual thing. I mean, a woman's submission in marriage is a free offering of herself through faith in God and because of her love for her husband. She gives it freely and he accepts it under the condition that he also will be in submission to God and prepare to offer the sacrificial love necessary to be the steward of such a precious gift. Again, Paul talks about this in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 25 to 28. Now God does not ask anyone to surrender themselves to others. This idea might provoke debates and sell books, but it won't create healthy, stable marriages. God wants all of us to surrender ourselves to Him first, and He will freely give us the tools to establish marriages that are pleasing to Him as well as the partners involved. This will involve submissiveness, but not the type that is the cold calculation that is promoted in the pages of this latest self-help book. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I'm Mike Mazzalongo, and this is the uh, Bible Talk video blog. See you again. Bye-bye.